Welcome to another Viscount uh, restoration session here. So what I'm doing is I'm now going to be uh, trying to remove the actual framing, um, at least the fastening point. And what I've been doing to this point in time is removing these nails. Now these nails are actually in a tricky position. Where the cladding comes through, I'll try to film it for you as best as I can, um, it comes through here, comes up and folds across. And every so often you'll get these nails there. So over here, same thing. Got a nail there and there. And so obviously the tricky bit here is, is that because this aluminium is quite thin, you, to try to take that out, it could be actually, um, you could damage the aluminium. So the way I've done it is, I'm using this tool and I'm effectively hammering in that until I get right to the um, to the actual nail and then I lift it. So, okay. So, what we'll do is, we'll focus on this one here. And then try to lift. There we go. And then I use this little hole here to try to push the cladding down again. Obviously, we are trying to push the nail back down. There we go. Hook it in place like that. And then start lifting and once I get it to a certain position again continuing using this tool I grab a pair of side cutters and then lift her out so yes it's a tedious process but at least it minimizes the damage on on the little lip of this aluminium cladding okay so all of that is loose now, all the way across there, and yeah, you can see the cladding there. These corners were a bit tricky, um, and I'll show you why. Some of them had a an additional nail underneath the top layer as I've mentioned in the past I'm going to be disturbing the the, um, the sealant that I put on the outer edge here just on the top section here I'll most probably disturb that but anyway I'll get to it again but now it's a matter of saying yep that looks like although this is one just here. Hard to say. No, that's all fine. So, yep, all of that is loose. So now um, I've already taken these screws off in the past. These ones here. So effectively, theoretically, the only thing that's holding this timber frame is these screws which come to the other side and fix onto here so that also holds the the actual hatch up as well along with this mechanism here it's just a matter of sliding this out and so this whole thing should then pop down i'm going to give that a go but what i'm going to do is i'm going to use going to keep keep the hatch connected so that way the whole thing doesn't collapse. I mean, that's the, uh, if it's that loose, which I doubt it will be. Um, and then I'll be able to, once I've got that there, I'll be able to then disconnect the hatch. Obviously what I'm gonna to need to do is think of a way of securing the hatch on the roof in case it gets windy. So I'll try doing that now. Um, and as I said, it's just a matter of unscrewing. 
unscrewing base. So those four are out. Just trying to make sure that I haven't left any because it still seems very pristine. I'll take that out. Now you can see here this one's starting to move. So this is what I'm talking about here, okay? starting to now bring that down slowly. This side is working out quite nice. So it might be a matter of dropping this side and then pulling the hatch backwards. But before I do that, I've got one more thing I've got to do, which is this. Um, actually, no, what I said I was going to do is I was going to leave that there. Give it a bit of weight because then that way I can actually drop it and I'm not fighting against oh, the hatch. Okay, so I'll just put that down here. That's a bit of a weird angle to have the camera, but we'll see how we go. All right. <laughs> Some pretty severe rot there, which is you know to be expected. That size not too bad actually. I'm quite surprised. Um, now what's going to happen here is this over here is going to going to keep the pressure on. Okay, and that's going to slide along with the with the movements. So I'm going to have to play it by ear to see which is going to be the best way to do this. I might actually disconnect that actually. I might just go ahead and do that. Um, make sure that there's no pressure on that. Okay, what I'll do is I'll actually put you back down here because I don't want the thing to be dropping on me while I'm still holding the camera. Okay. So that's that rod, and now that's not going to go anywhere there. Now I want to see if I can get the rest of this out. It's this end here that's a bit tight. This is all falling apart on me now, which is not not good. Out. Okay, you see how it's now coming away. So it's obviously just a tight fit, and effectively I just got to use a bit of brute force and and um, see if I can put you here instead. entire hatch system here and there's the outer cladding I've 
So I've got a love aluminium frame. It's fantastic. This will all clean up nicely. All right, I just put the um, the hatch frame down, and I'll show you a bit more of the condition. So this is what I replicate exactly. Exactly the dimensions. I might be able to keep some of it. Like I'm thinking, you can see it's nailed in here. I'm thinking that this piece here is nice to have. Maybe. It might be, it might be too much um, effort trying to remove the paint from it because I'm going to have the design where it's just bare timber. So it's not going to be um, it's not going to be painted. It's going to be stained. But that's it. Yeah. Oh, geez, something was living in there, wasn't it? Okay, so. Back to this. So, um, as I said, nothing's holding this hatch in place now. It's actually quite heavy, but what I'm thinking of doing is using the original screw holes. Obviously, I have to line it up nicely and then screwing it back into the frame. And then that's effectively going to hold it in place until then I tackle this. So the idea is I'm going to try to do the frame first, put the frame in, um, uh, we'll see how we go. Sometimes it's easy to work on the two at the same time, but ah, look at that. That's probably why this corner was having difficulties coming in. There was a hidden nail there. So I did miss one. Everything else is okay. When I look at the caravan like this, it's, um, <laughs> I've got to say, sometimes it gets a bit overwhelming. You think, geez, look how much I've got to put things back together. But, you know, it's a matter of being uh, methodical, just breaking it down into smaller steps. So, one of these things I want to... I'm not sure if I'm going to chrome plate them again. Because they've just become like this. Maybe, maybe I'll just sand them back and just give them a... Um, just a black black with the black with the exposed timber will probably look nice but anyway that's all cosmetics so there we have it hatch is now secure i just reuse the same holes in fact i actually turned this timber around so i've got a new nice new thread for it but effectively by using my hand there you go i can then prop something up to hold it in place if i wanted to keep the the hatch open. So at least I know it's not going to go flying. Just finished cleaning it up. I mean obviously these stains I'm not going to worry about. But making sure that there's no imperfections here so when the new timber goes on it's going to be nice and flush. And she's looking pretty good. Happy with that. Okay, so I suppose you can consider this part one of the hatch rebuild. Next thing to do is to buy timber, probably go buy some nice hardwood, stain it, and then look at um, the different types of fasteners I can use. So, um, watch this space for the next video. Thanks for watching.